Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, we're not much of a change in prices. I think the market is waiting for three things. Number one is trying to get a better handle on the actual harvest yields as the harvest progresses. Number two, what the government uh, might say uh, at the end of the month as far as the stocks report as of September 1 and the final small grain crop production. And number three, what are the funds going to do? with their positions that they have on. Uh, market seems to be stuck right now at current price levels waiting for new news. Tuesday's always a time in which we get to see uh, the previous night USDA's numbers as far as crop ratings are concerned and as far as the harvest conditions and the one week plantings. USDA kept corn ratings unchanged but they did drop soybean ratings one percentage point. So when we look at some of the private crop estimates out there, we have one crop scout that still looks at the corn yield at 166 versus the government's 170 and a crop of 13.8. It's interesting how he breaks down some of his numbers. He's got 25% of the crop uh, below trend yields. That includes Iowa, North Dakota, and South Dakota. Average yields are seen in Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, and Nebraska. And above average yields continue to be in Minnesota, Ohio, across the southern part of the Midwest and Wisconsin. In the beans, he still thinks that the bean yield U.S. is going to be 48 bushels per acre versus the USDA's 50 and a crop of 4250 million bushels. It kind of offsets a little bit of the talk late last week that the FSA acreage numbers in beans should suggest almost a million more acres, which would add about 80 million bushels to the crop size. Again, 25% uh, of the crop in Iowa, North Dakota, and South Dakota is below trend yield. 35% of the crop is average in Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, and Nebraska. And uh, there's about 34% um, of the crop that's above a trend. Most of that's in the Delta, but also includes Minnesota, Wisconsin, and uh, Michigan. So we'll see who's right in the October uh, 12th crop report. Funds yesterday, small buyers of meal sold oil, corn, and wheat, continue to have maybe a small long position in beans, short meal, long oil, and short corn and, and short wheat. So again, um, we kind of lack some of the new news that might break uh, the market out of this trading range. Hurricane Maria is on our way to Puerto Rico, and we'll see how she wants to spin out of there, heading to maybe the U.S. Uh, later on the month. We'll also be watching down in South America where most feel that uh, planting is about ready to get started for the corn and soybean crop. They're already talking about maybe a few less corn acres in South America, a few more bean acres, and it still remains too dry across northern Brazil and uh, too wet across southern Argentina. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services, and have a safe and profitable trading day.